This is my as new Beaver slotting attachment. Uh, it's off a very, very old machine, but it was never used before I got it. A wonderful piece of kit. We'll zoom you in a little bit closer to the action. And that's the lower speed. Very versatile, not a very high capacity. I think it's maximum 75 millimeters a stroke. But I'll get in closer and give you a look. G'day guys, welcome back to In My Shed, I'm BC. Today's episode is about a vertical shaper or a slotting attachment and a jig I set up for putting the slots into uh, loco wheels. Nice keyway attachment, uh, does accurate work, very cheap on tooling, just half inch high speed steel round and I wouldn't be without it, low cost and it can also do internal gears and spines but that takes a little bit of nutting out. So I'll bring you in closer and show you a few jigs and how I use them. I'll bring you in for a close up on my slotter tools. You'll see that they're just simply a bit of high speed steel round. This particular one's had a corner ground on it and that's for making round holes square. Good for making your own tool holders. And that's a 3-8 broaching tool. So just high speed steel, ground up, you only need one or two degrees of draft on the side for body clearance and I don't make them too sharp, the rake angle is only about two or three degrees. That gives you a little bit of edge strength. So back out again. The jig itself is quite simple. Just a bit of RHS that's held in the vise. That sleeve is used to centre the wheel on the jig and then taken out, of course you don't slot with it in there. And I use two big clamps, one either side to clamp it in. Crack that pin out. Dead simple. You can see I've already slotted a couple of wheels. The slotting tool's gone into the side there. Uh, also you can make up different size pins if you've got different wheels to go in there, as long as the spacing's the same. But I could drill another crank pin hole on the other side for a different wheel. This is setting it up for the wheels I'm making for my Sweet William. Now I've got another jig. When I've done the hole for the axle, that's where I drill holes for the crank pin and they're the pilot holes for the two lightning holes. I just put pins in there to lock it in place and you can accurately put the crank pin hole in the wheel. So you get the same spacing on all of them. Quite easy to make, uh, versatile for many different sizes, and it saves you a lot of time setting up. Now, I'll try and get you in on the tool that's in the slotter. That's about as close as I can get. It's just a bit of round that's been ground off. That's a quarter inch. A very sturdy machine, I'm happy with it. Okay, please like and subscribe. That's all for now.